Thank you all for being here today, sir. My condolences to your son. I am very sorry for your loss. Thank you. We are talking about the consequences of criminal aliens in United States communities. Take a walk around any large city in America and you'll see the devastating effects of these open border policies that we've seen ravage our communities over the course of the past few years. Crime, gang activity, drugs, just to name a few, but there is a far more sinister criminal activity that's not as visible as drug trafficking, gang activity, or just the general degradation of our cities. It's far worse, actually, far worse to me. It's human trafficking. I love my city of Houston. Houston is known as the energy capital of the world. It's known as a lot of great things, great food as well, but unfortunately, we are also known as the human trafficking capital of the world as well, and that has to change. I can tell you I'm very proud to co-sponsor a bill introduced by my colleague Sheila Jackson Lee. It's called the Stop Human Trafficking in School Zones Act. This bipartisan effort is necessary because that's how bad the problem is. This bill will increase the prison time up to five years for certain human trafficking offenses and sex offenses involving minors that occur within 1,000 feet of schools, within 100 feet of certain other places where children gather, like youth centers and swimming pools. As a father of three children under the age of five, these people belong in a special place in hell, if you ask me. In five years, it's not enough, but it's a start. One thing that I do know is that if President Biden and the Democrat governors and mayors were serious about human trafficking, they'd stop their destructive sanctuary city policies. And you, gentlemen, have addressed this pretty clearly to me. Mr. Fabricatore, thank you for being here, sir. I met you earlier in the hallway. I have a question for you, sir. In your 23 years of experience working at INS and ICE, and, and, and ICE what can you tell me about the seriousness of child trafficking, which you, and what have you personally experienced as a result of the issues that we have seen with our open border policies? Well, number one, I mean, they, they stopped the, the DNA testing at the border. So, you know, we, we were testing adults to see if they had a DNA match with children. That policy has stopped, and I, I cannot figure out for the life of me why you would not want to figure out if a child that is being brought into the United States actually belongs to the adult that they're traveling with. But now we've stopped that, so now we're allowing these people to bring these children into the interior, and we have no idea who they, are, who they belong to. We have no idea if there's a familial connection. This is wrong, and it, and it needs to stop. We have children being, being brought in, and, and we have children missing right now. We don't even know where they are because they've been brought in and, and they've either absconded, they've gone off, you know, they're, they're being used to, to traffic drugs. Myself, in, in my career, you know, I, I've, I've arrested juveniles dealing heroin on jogging paths. So these juveniles are being used by the cartels to deal drugs and they're being brought into this country. And, and the fact that we stopped the DNA program, this, in, this administration stopped it, it's unfathomable to me. Do you agree that child sex trafficking as a result of this crisis at our southern border has increased? Yes, sir, I do. Without equivocation? No, yep, I agree. Biden's policies, has, they've resulted in countless numbers of minors being abused and bust across our border and sold into sex slavery. Under the guise of protecting illegal aliens, the Biden administration is in fact protecting human traffickers and harming God's children, our children. Now, many of my colleagues on the left may say that we are unfairly targeting illegal aliens and that American citizens commit crimes too. I've also heard racism being blamed and xenophobia being blamed, and I could tell you as a black man for a very long time, I am not racist nor xenophobic. I just want us to enforce our laws and I expect them to be abided by so we could save our children I've also heard some of my colleagues on the left say that the global sex trafficking of children is a QAnon conspiracy. According to the New York Times, 85,000 migrant children have entered, that's entered our country have been lost. They've been vanished. And where do you think they went? You know exactly where they went. And what's happening is grotesque. It is wrong. And if we can't protect our children, if we can protect the world's children, 
then we absolutely have no future. I cannot thank you enough for being here. I cannot thank you enough for your hard work and your sacrifice. Sir, we will do better because we have to. Thank you for all your efforts, and I'm so, I'm so sorry for the loss of your son. God bless you, and thank you. I yield back the rest of my time. Thank you. Okay, does that now conclude our questions? I believe it does. Very well. And uh, well time too. I see two bells on the board. Um, thank you all uh, for being here today. Uh, uh, without objection, all members will have